Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, I am doing Wednesday's 3D Blu-ray review. Now, it's going to be a very weird movie to talk about. But I thought it was worth talking about. Now, this review is going to be the shortest review I've ever done. I'm not going to talk about cast because the cast isn't anyone particularly famous that we know. Um, so, I'm not going to go through all that with you also um, I'm going to talk a little bit on the movie in the 3D so let's just get into it basically this review is about Harlock Space Pirate 3D Blu-ray now I ordered this movie as uh, I saw um, I saw it come up once on, online and I didn't know what this was it reminds me of Final Fantasy Advent Children the movie so I checked out the trailer the trailer looked awesome the steel book of the 3D was like £17. But someone on eBay was selling this copy for £10. Brand new from the Netherlands. So I ordered that one and it came. And um, yeah, so let's get a bit into the movie. The movie is about um, the human race have basically uh, expanded its uh, living status if you would say they people from earth spread out across the universe and found what is called um like different civilizations on different planets that they started off their own and what happened was the more humans that were being born on all these different planets they wanted to um they realized that they they, they weren't like their ancestry and, and the people weren't really from these planets they wanted to go and go home now what happened is there was something known as the Battle of the Homecoming, which was like thousands upon thousands of ships just destroyed each other. And um, the government decided to make Earth a symbol of uh, peace and harmony. So no one was allowed to ever visit. No one was allowed to ever go to Earth. Earth was meant to remain an empty planet. But a remembrance of where the originality came from, where they came from, a reminder of where their where their home always would have been. So anyway, we are seeing at the beginning of the movie. Um, there's this little like tavern place where these people are having drinks, and you hear this loud rattle across the sky, and they go out and they say it sounds like an old ship. And when you see it, it's just this ship completely surrounded by this black fog. And these three people get on the ship and there's these people in massively heavy armoured like golden outfits. They look a bit like the big daddies from Bioshock. And they're like, oh, well, um... Then the three people that snuck up said, oh, well, we're, we're trying to join. We want to join your crew. And they've gone, we only need one of you. So what, what, what do we fly for? And the first guy said, like, for riches. And they dropped him, said, nope. And he um, fell to his death. The other guy just fell backwards. And then when the third guy refused to answer to begin with, as they've dropped him, he shouted for freedom. And, like, the woman general grabbed him and put him back on the ship and said that he was okay. Now, basically, that's when, um, I think a couple of minutes afterwards, we see the first glimpse of Captain Harlock. Now, I just, I'm not going to talk any more about the movie. Um, in fairness, I want you guys to see it for yourself. But it's basically, it's just Space Pirates. It's Space Pirates. It looks like Final Fantasy meets Bioshock. Just meets uh, P Peter Pan's movie. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like It's like, it's like, it's like a giant ship. And the sh I'll tell you what, the, uh, find a picture of the ship. It's here. In this corner here. It looks so cool. It looks awesome. So, yeah. Basically... That's all I'm going to give on the movie. Uh, I don't want to give too much away because anything else that I say par, par that point will ruin somewhat of a story. It will ruin it. So I can't say that much. But what? Now I'm going to get into the 3D. So the 3D is definitely more immersive. I will say this. It's more immersive. And it's also de it's definitely more like in depth. There's hardly any, hardly any pop outish scenes that much. There's a few. So it's kind of disappointing on that front. But I tell you something. For a space... For a space fantasy adventure movie about sh pirate ships and in space and lasers and anything that's kind of Final Fantasy looking related. It is a fantastic 3D Blu-ray to own. 
and to purchase. Um, so on a movie standpoint, do I see the movie being rewatchable? Of course I do. I think Captain Harlock is a badass. He is a phenomenal badass. He reminds me of Vincent from Final Fantasy VII. Um, he's just a he's a fantastic character, amazing personality, style. Um, he's, he's one of the best characters in the whole thing. I know the whole film's based on him, but he just is one of the best characters in it, and um, probably the best character if I had to say completely honestly. He is the best character. It's probably why he's the main star. Hey, well done, LJ. You got that stupid. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like sometimes the main characters in movies don't always become like the best character in the movie. Um, but no, he, definitely he owns the, the title of this movie. He is the best character. Um, so from a movie standpoint, do I think this has any rewatchability? Uh, um, yeah, it does. It, it absolutely does. So I'm going to give this movie an A just for the movie. For the 3D, do I think I could watch the 3D more than the actual movie? No. I can't. I, I'm going to be quite honest. I enjoy the 3D. The 3D is amazing. But could I watch the 3D version more than the standard movie? No. Because in fairness, this movie, this movie right here, looks also extremely incredible on Blu-ray. So, in fairness, the 3D feels more like a kind of, like a kind of like special occasion thing. Like, ooh, you know, I want to see a very good visual, in-depth 3D Blu-ray. This is definitely that. Uh, like for 3D, but it looks so, um, because whereas also with 3D, as I said before, it does dim down the TV, so when it's a space movie, it does look a bit dark, but I have to, I have to admit, the Blu-ray is actually more rewatchable than the 3D, so for the 3D and the movie, they're both going to get the standard just A, unfortunately it doesn't get the A+, plus because the only minor bit is, um, this doesn't have the original, um, language selection, so it's not the original voicing, it is the English dubbed. I've checked. Um, it, it definitely does not have any other languages other than English on this one for some reason. Uh, and the, they are very poorly uh, dubbed over the voices. Like a guy was saying something when his lips weren't even moving. So um, that's my only like fault with it. But it is a fantastic movie. I enjoyed this. And I literally stuck this on after five minutes of waking up. I, I woke up. My eyes were just focused. And I've gone, I'm, I'm going to go watch a 3D movie. <laughs> and I stuck this in. And it was fantastic. So, yeah. Harlock, Space Pirate, 3D Blu-ray gets an A movie and 3D wise. Found a great movie. It definitely, I, I still say it's definitely worth purchasing on 3D Blu-ray. Especially if you have a projector. Or if you have a bigger 3D TV. You definitely get the more enjoyment from it, but yeah, this was—I said this was quite cheap. It was ten pounds on eBay, and um, I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I own it. It's going to remain in my collection. Um, it deserves a spot on that shelf. It definitely does. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoy this video and previous videos, strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, show your support. Click that subscribe button. I'd surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care and I will see you next time.